We'll go here in a minute. Madam Chair, I rise in support of life and protecting the most vulnerable among us. My amendment prohibits funds to the UN Population Fund and strikes the requirement in the bill to spend $760 million on international family planning programs, which represents a significant increase over the enacted level and even the President's request. The bill before us would pour millions of Americans' hard-earned tax dollars to organizations that provide abortions overseas by providing the UN Population Fund millions of dollars and not less than $760 million for international family planning programs. While I'm a strong supporter of providing women with true health care and assistance, unfortunately these programs have repeatedly shown they promote abortion. Some may say that these funds are used to provide women with essential health care, yet we have seen and heard time and time again that these funds go towards groups that provide abortions. Just last month, I questioned our ambassador to the United Nations on why this administration requested funds for the UN Population Fund, an organization that promotes abortions overseas. The ambassador responded to me that, quote, the main goal is not to provide for abortion. But promoting abortion should not be any goal, main or otherwise. The majority of Americans believe that our tax dollars should not be funding abortions in other countries. My amendment will prevent that from happening. This amendment is simple. It would defund the UN Population Fund and remove the requirement to spend at a much higher level on other international family planning programs so that our tax dollars cannot be used to support organizations that promote and fund abortions overseas. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment. Thank you, Madam Chair. I yield back.